Hi, everyone. My name is Dallin, and I'm a senior consultant at Solved. And welcome to our first episode of our series using Spiff with Salesforce. So what is Spiff? Spiff is a powerful commission automation platform that takes the pain out of managing sales incentives. What it does is it replaces messy spreadsheets that many companies use in order to track their commissions. And it replaces them with real-time transparent dashboards. What that will do is it'll make it easier for your sales teams to track and understand what commissions they can expect. Since Spift has been acquired by Salesforce, it's now deeply integrated with Sales Cloud. And it allows us to give teams a seamless way to design, manage, and fully visualized compensation plans all within Salesforce, which they're already using. So in this series, we're going to walk through how to set up, Spiff, connect it with Salesforce, and use all of that to drive performance and trust within your organization. So we're going to start very, very basic and then build our way up. Today, we're going to be talking about creating a plan and then adding users to plan within Spiff. All right, so your first step when getting into Spiff is you're going to need to create a plan. And so a plan is where the magic happens. It's the logic behind how commissions are calculated. And so think of it like a blueprint that tells Spiff, hey, here's who should get paid. Here's how much they should get paid because of X, Y, Z conditions. And a plan can be really simple, like play, let's say paying 10%, 10% off of every closed deal. But you can get much more complex things like bonuses, accelerators, conditions based on product, quota, team, things like that. And so we're going to start simple, like I said, and we're going to get more and more detailed. So how do we create a plan? If you're in your homepage here, the best way to do it that I've found is come up into your designer. Once you click on designer, you'll see I already have a plan created here, but we're creating a new one. Best way that I've seen to do that is come up here next to your search to these three dots. And from there, you click on new plan. Once you do that, it creates the plan and it allows you to name it. We're just going to name it test plan one. And then right now you'll notice that it is, it is not visible to anything. I've found that making it visible right away is one of the easiest ways. I've noticed that in building other things out, if it's not visible, then sometimes you'll run into issues. So how do we make it visible? Let's go into our test plan one. We'll say, I'll get started on my own. And then we want to up here, plan is hidden to reps. Click this to show plan to reps. You can build all this out, keeping it hidden. And, and that will help if you're trying to not show specific things to the reps that are in SPIF. But I have noticed that there can be some issues if you don't make it visible. So there's a simple toggle. You can keep toggling it. You can toggle it visible, invisible. There's no real drawback there. So I'm going to click it visible. And the last thing we're going to talk about in this video is how we can assign users to our plan. You'll notice there's a button here that says there's no active reps in this. So we can go and click this purple button to assign users. Now we see all the users that are here in SPIF for our organization. And you can go and say, oh, this is only for these three people, this plan that we're creating. You'll notice that when you do that, the effective as of and infected until dates are available to you. It is best practice to put these in because then it knows when to apply this plan that you're creating. So usually it's for annual, right? And so we'll just say, hey, we're going to start this on January 1st and it's going to go to December 31st. And so when we do that, We'll assign those users. You'll notice that they'll get assigned and that we can now start building this out. So be, stay tuned for future videos. We're going to walk through all of this, how to segment our users, how to assign plans and rules to those users so that they can receive the commissions that they earn and much more for our SPIP and Salesforce series. So look forward to seeing you.